All right, guys, I want you to focus in on this diagram right here. This is a four pin diagram for a Bosch style relay. Uh, excuse the cat in the background, he's meowing. <laughs> All right, so here's what we got, right? When you have a four pin relay such as this right here, okay, I drew it out for you so it's easier to see. You have four pins, 30, 86, 87, and 85. 30 and 85 is what's going to come from your battery and your ground. So you can ground this to anywhere that's, you know, the chassis, uh, bolt on your engine, whatever. Anything that's, that's going to be solid metal, uh, no paint in your way or anything like that. A good solid ground. You can go straight to the battery negative terminal if you want. Uh, and then this battery positive terminal and you put an inline fuse in it. Okay, so you get yourself an inline fuse just like this. You go from the battery to pin 30 right here. Okay, you go from the battery or the ground, anywhere chassis ground to pin 85. That's your positive and negative. Okay, you get a fuse tab like this. All right, you take out a fuse that gets power when you turn your key on and off. Take that fuse out, put the fuse tab in, and then put that fuse back right here. And then you run that wire to pin 86. So what will happen is when you turn your key and energize that fuel, that, that fuse, it's going to make, it's going to allow a magnetic connection that's going to switch and allow 30 to now send that 12 volts to 87. What that does is it takes any draw off of this. There's no draw on this, only the magnetic pull because you have this and you have this, and that's going to create a magnetic pull and close the switch. Once the switch is closed, or I should say open, it allows the 12 volts to go through to pin 87, and that's where you hook up your halos. This will work for halos. This will work for cooling fans. This will work for electric fuel pumps. This will work for anything that you need to add to your vehicle, and you want to do it correctly, such as street glow, underglow, whatever the heck all that stuff is called, anything that you want extra. Fuse tap, but don't run off of the fuse tap. A lot of people just run off of a fuse tap and then they'd hook their halos right up to the fuse tap. But what that's doing is it's causing an extra draw on whatever this fuse tap's plugged into and that's not what the manufacturers um, designed and you, you risk something happening to the circuitry of whatever you're tapping into and that could get pretty expensive. So a fuse tap is really only to open a relay. All right, and then once that's open, then the halos actually get their power directly from the battery. And then when you turn the key off, the switch, the relay will, will go ahead and open or close, whatever, and then boom, that 12 volts is removed and you don't have anything going to your halos and your circuitry on your fuse tap is safe. All right, so that's the proper way to do it. Um, the improper way is fuse tap right into your halos and forget all that, all right? A four pin relay costs about 15 bucks. You're looking at a few bucks for an inline fuse and a few bucks for a fuse tap, all right? But that's the proper way to do your halos or anything that you add to your vehicle and if you're running fog lights or something like that and you want to switch then you can run um, this if you want to a switch or uh, anything that's always live you know always got power so you can run your your fog lights or something even if your key is off um, you can tap into something like that that always has power um, find it and then go ahead and you can run a toggle switch and the toggle switch would then go to pin 86 so this to a toggle switch to 86, and then that removes any draw off of whatever you're tapping into. Of course, if you're doing lights like that, you can run a battery wire into your interior, put a switch, and then out of your interior to your fog lights. That's how mine are set up right now. Um, but yeah, that's how you wire properly your Halo daytime running lights.